have the Great War be the backdrop is quite a responsibility for many different reasons. It's the 100th anniversary of the beginning of the First World War. It changes everything. Everyone's affected by it. One of the things we played from a story point of view was a kind of mounting tension within the world. People anxious, unsettled, and how that rippled through the store. Or you can explain yourselves to Mr. Selfridge. He called us cowards. Said we were refusing to sign up. So you start a fight. Well, why sign up for a country that hates us? Sit still, or you'll make it worse. They're all idiots, Victor, George included. Well, maybe they're right. Well, a lot of the guys that are working, a lot of the young boys that are working at the store, they go off to war. Not everybody, but some do. So I guess that would cause a bit of friction. Some people going off to war, some people not. Why aren't you going off to war? So there might be the tag of cowardice. It's finally come. We're going to war. When it's announced that Britain's going to war with Germany, there's, you know, cheering and people start singing Rule Britannia. Rule Britannia, Britannia rule the way. Some people may find this quite difficult to, you know, understand because we do know what happened. As we know, you know, over 800,000 casualties and it was so tragic. You know, I mean, from history, what went on in England and how bad it was and how badly affected everyone was. It was a long time before the true horror of what was happening over there came through in the newspapers. It was suppressed. There's news from Mons. Reports of many dead. The worst of it? Churchill and Kitchener won't let me write the truth. Press Bureau, suppress Bureau. They didn't want the public to know what was happening. They didn't want men to be put off from volunteering. Name? Towler. George Towler. The men desperately wanted to go and fight for their country. And Harry's faced with a, a growing number of young men volunteering for the army. And, uh... That has an enormous impact. Nearly a thousand male staff in the store, so it's bound to have an enormous impact on the on the way that the store works. And there's a very moving sequence where the men that are going to join up gather in the store. And there was a marching drum and band coming through the store. And I started to play the scene quite solemnly, but then I thought, well, she wouldn't know that this was necessarily going to be this a horrible sort of thing that went on for years and years and years and they lost loads of their loved ones. She wouldn't have necessarily known that. In fact, I think it was very exciting. I think it's very moving because it's just a bunch of young guys who are going off to do something without any clue of what they're, the horrors that they're heading towards. And it's, it's incredibly sad. Ladies and gentlemen, these are our boys. Our men, our soldiers. Three cheers for the Selfridge Brigade. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! I did quite a lot of research before shooting that episode. Young men were joining up in Britain because they, they hadn't been abroad. <laughs> and it was an opportunity to see France. They had no idea what they were heading into. Women and children show no mercy. So you're signing up then? First chance I get. Try and stop me. George goes away to war and he's the one constant in her life. So to have such turbulence in what really matters to her, I think is uh, it's very significant. Just promise me one thing. What's that? Come home to me. Yeah, I promise.